With the emergence of 5G, service providers are investing in telco cloud platforms to transform their businesses and open up new markets, new customers, and new sources of revenue. In this demonstration, you'll see how Contrail Cloud is used to build a horizontal, pre-integrated NFVI software platform and how easy and cost-effective it is to use Contrail to spin up edge computes in a distributed edge cloud environment. Our environment includes a regional data center and two remote POP sites. The POP sites are connected over an MPLS network via a set of virtual MX routers. In the regional data center, we are hosting the redundant Contrail Cloud cluster on three physical servers and two compute servers. We will use MP-BGP to connect the Contrail Control cluster to the WAN. This extends BGP networking to our local compute nodes via the MPLS over UDP overlay. The Contrail command interface allows us to easily take inventory of the environment. Here we see there are two compute nodes and a redundant control plane cluster shown by the three control nodes, three analytics nodes, and three config nodes. To establish network reachability, we first create a regional data center virtual network instance using an IP subnet. Then we create VMs on each of the servers and assign them to the regional data center network. Finally, we define the MPLS route target of our network and Contrail takes care of the rest. Running a ping test shows that we've successfully extended our reachability. Using our centralized Contrail cluster, we establish remotely managed subclusters into each of the two remote sites. We use the Contrail SDN controller to extend MPLS across the network. In Contrail command, we see two additional remote compute nodes we added to each of the two remote sites, making four total in the test environment. We also see two redundant control nodes we added as well, increasing our total number from three to seven. These control nodes act as centralized routing masters to the remote edge computes for the two POP sites. Notice that the size of the control cluster is not increased. This is because the remote edge clouds are being managed from our regional POP site. Switching to the cluster nodes view, we see each of the seven control nodes. And from the compute node view, we see each of the VM compute nodes. Back in Contrail command, we have already created three autonomous subnets, one for each location. We are going to assign each VM to a network, then define and deploy a networking policy that will extend reachability to some networks while blocking reachability to others. Moving to instances, we can easily assign our VMs into a subnetwork. In the instances summary, we verify that there are now three subnetworks with associated compute. To verify that these networks are not reachable, we will ping one from the other. Now let's add a policy to enable network reachability. First, we define a policy named Allow InterVN and assign the rules for reachability. Next, from Contrail command, we select our target networks and simply apply the new policy and save. Repeat this process for each network. To verify, test the network again by repeating the ping test. We ping from one POP site back to the regional data center and it's a success. The new policy has been applied and is working. When we try the same ping test from one POP site to the other, the test expectedly fails. Our policy did not explicitly allow edge pop to edge pop communication. You've just seen how easy it is to use Contrail to spin up edge computes in a distributed edge cloud environment. With Juniper Contrail Cloud, you'll create new revenue opportunities to transform your business. For more information on Juniper Contrail Cloud, please visit us at juniper.net slash contrail cloud.